I wake up at the crack of dawn, ready to tackle the day. I pop in some David Goggins to motivate my morning. I have to get a bunch of men together. Okay. Men mm -hmm. that are the hardest of the hard. Mm -hmm. And I want to be with these men. WWYG. What would Yoggins do? That is why these things are important. You have to wake up and you have to give yourself belief. You have to give yourself confidence. So that, it starts with that run. So after the run, I come home, I eat something small. How long is the run typically at the moment? Nowhere under 12 miles. No less than 12 miles a day. So we're going to go no less than 12 miles, probably 13 or 14 <sighs> in somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours time. So nice, slow, long distance today, which I like. Haven't gone this far since I ran the Boston Marathon. So going to see how it goes and have a good start to the morning. First mile. Hey man, I follow your YouTube guys. Cool, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm really trying to focus on running something closer to Goggins' pace. You really have to set your mind on running a pace like this when you're not used to it because if I just turn my brain off like I was the first half, I'm not going to run at that pace. So we're having to focus and emphasize running something around 8 minute pace and currently we're doing that 801. So. Thirteen point oh four miles total, hour forty one minutes, perfect right between ninety minutes and two hours. Seven forty seven a minute from my average pace. Quite a bit quicker than his eight fifteen eight thirty, but he is injured or coming back from injury, trying to heal himself. So did go a bit slower than I'm used to, but yeah, perfect way to start the day. And we're off to have a little breakfast and keep it grinded. Goggin said you should keep it simple with something small. I run online. He likes to eat oatmeal with blueberries, so that's what we're gonna do today. Some quick steel cut oats, Trader Joe's style. Half of this banana because it's looking quite sussy. Breakfast time right now, gym session after. We are just getting started with our Goggins type day but we're feeling good so far. Classic David Gaugans, nickels and dimes, probably until failure. So hopefully like, I don't know, 20 minutes would be nice. Cameraman form, form check. That's pretty solid extension right there. Look at that. No kicking. 
Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. You cycle as well. Yeah. How long are you cycling? It just depends. I do stationary bike right now a lot. Gagan says he does this three to four times a week. We're just gonna call that one of these three to four days where he does it. It's gonna be like forty-five minutes moderate. I think it's you sweatier honestly than anything else probably. That's crazy. Yeah. This is definitely a grind. Okay. Alright. There's 45 minutes. Moderate on the bike. Just a little bit sweaty. Gonna hydrate, we're gonna shower. We're gonna get work started for the day. Got meditation later, stretching later, dinner. Whew! Good way to start the day. I mean, it's pretty much the middle of the day and we've done a bunch. Workout, 13 mile run, 45 on the stationary bike. Feeling fit, feeling a little tired, but feeling great. Let's keep it going. So now that most of our physical goals have been met and taken care of for the day, it's time to move on to some work. We have a lot of cleaning and things to build for the new apartment, some dishes to do, emails to answer, videos to edit, and other various things to get done. So let's get to it. According to online resources, Goggins doesn't follow any specific diet, but just eats very clean, eats fats, carbs, proteins, all that good stuff. So we're gonna have the classic steak and potatoes dinner. I am famished. Yeah, and they shrink when you fry them. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna meditate so hard after this. Oh, that was a good bite.
The idea of meditating and stretching for two straight hours was pretty daunting. I've tried meditating several times before, but nothing at this sort of length. But I gotta say, after the first 10 minutes, I really began to relax a lot and felt great. I think actually I fell asleep for a short stint, which was interesting because although I was in a very relaxed state, I didn't think I would just straight up knock out. Anyways, I was just listening to a guided meditation and sound podcast, which was a little repetitive at times, but overall quite nice. And the two hours went by quite quickly. And so there you have it, a day in the life of David Goggins complete. Overall, honestly, not too bad. Woke up the next day feeling mostly normal, a little bit sore, but I would definitely do this daily routine again and would suggest anyone else who'd like to try it out to give it a shot. Maybe not the full thing. Maybe you can modify some things, make it a little bit shorter. But overall, I had a good time filming this video. Sorry for not posting so much after the Boston Marathon. We moved into this new place right away and we've been just kind of trying to get everything situated and just been catching up on a lot of other life things. But starting now, we are back posting the regular video schedule and I will be announcing soon what race and things I'm going to be training for on the channel. Have a lot of fun stuff coming up. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness. Peace. And I want to be with these men.